today we are going to be discussing on the acid fast staining so uh, this stain is a differential staining technique which was first developed by Zelt and later on uh, modified by Nelson so this method is also called Zelt Nelson staining technique Nelson in 1883 he used Zelt carbofusion as um, uh, fusion and he then decolorized with an acid alcohol and later on counter stain with methylene blue thus self nelson staining technique was developed so the main aim of the the main aim or the objective of this stain is to differentiate bacteria into acid fast group and non-acid fast group so the principle of this stain is acid fast mycobacteria contain mycolid acid in their outer membrane making the cell waxy and resistant to staining with aqueous bare stain such as gram stain the primary stain carbofusion is applied to the cells and heat and phenol are used to allow the stain to penetrate into the waxy surface of acid fast microorganism the excess stain is removed with treatment by acid alcohol, ethanol, and hydrochloric acid. A secondary stain, methylene blue, is then applied to the cells. So, when the smear is stained with carbon fusion, it solubilizes the lipoidal material which is present in the mycobacterial cell wall. But by the application of heat, carbon fusion further penetrates through lipoidal wall and enters into cytoplasm. Then after, uh, then, after all, the cell appears red in color. Then the, uh, then the smear is decolorized with decolorizing agent that's 3% HCl in 95% alcohol but the acid fast cells are resistant due to the presence of large amount of lipoidal material in the cell wall um, which uh, prevents the penetration of decolorizing solution. So in this case the acid fast organism um, lack the lipoid lipoidal which lay the lipoidal material in the cell wall due to which they ha uh, get easily decolorized leaving the cell in colorless then the smear is stained with counter stain methylene blue uh, only the colorized cell absorb the counter stain and take its color and appear blue while the acid fast stain retains the red color so in order to perform this acid fasting there are some requirements which we'll be needing so uh, we'll be needing the glass light the inoculating loop carbofusion hydrochloric acid methylene blue the benzene burner microscope and specimen for the specimen you can use um you can use uh, the growth from the culture plate or from the broth or from the uh, sample directly uh, you can uh, sput them so let us see the procedure of this acid fast stain so firstly you have to prepare bacterial smear on clean and grease free slide using a sterile technique then allow the smear to air dry and then heat fix then cover the smear with carbofusion stain and heat the stain until vapor begin to rise and also do not overheat your uh, stain and allow the heated stain to remain on the slide for uh, 5 minutes. Then wash off the stain with uh, clean water or running tap water. Now you have to cover the smear with 3% alcohol, uh, acid alcohol for 5 minutes or until the smear is sufficiently uh, decolorized that is the loop, uh, the loop pelt in um, pelting. Now we have to wash well your slide again in with clean water or under the running tap water. Then cover the smear with a malachite green or a methylene blue for 1 to 2 minutes using the longer time when the smear is thin. So um, remember, um, remember to make your uh, smear not too thick, not too thin. Then wash off the stain with the uh, clean water or running tap water. Then wipe the back of the slide. Um, then uh, wipe. The, you have to wipe the back of the slide clean, and then um, place it in a draining rack for the smear to air dry. Then examine the smear microscopically using the 100x oil immersion objective. So the interpretation is the acid fast bacilli will look bright red to intensive purple. Uh, then uh, also it will look like a red bright or slightly curved rods occurring singly or in small group or may appear in bitter. And whereas the non-acid fast will look a blue in color. Then, 
uh, according to the World Health Organization, the interpretation of the sputum stain or the Zellmansen stain is interpreted as if there is one to nine number of AFP per oil immersion field, it is created as scanty. Now, if there is 10 to 99 uh, number of AFP per oil immersion field, it is graded as 1 plus. And if there is 1 to 10 number of AFP per oil immersion field, it is graded as 2 plus. Now, if there is more than 10, mm, more than 10 number of AFP per oil immersion field, it is graded as 3 plus. So, um, this is um, all about the acid fast thingy.